normal magic Welcome back, folks. just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But, I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Huh. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Can justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Is there anything I can do for you? You're the first one I've ever told this. Thank you for not running away. My maps are yours. As am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. We already have a mage, but thank you. That was kind of you. So Anders returns. Interesting. Actually, folks, if you don't uh, oh, injured. See, this is this is good. I like this. They tell me when someone is injured. Just pop this on. Uh just no. Caesar is insulin cure. Yes. Alright. I'm not quite sure how to use it. Oh, okay. He did use it. Alright, great. This is where figuring out this game a little bit still. It's been interesting so far. So we have Anders with us. Unfortunately, as far as uh, Bethany goes, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping her. Pretty fond of Bethany. How come you and Wesley never had children? I mean, sorry if that's too personal. It's all right. I was a soldier and he was a Templar. We knew that our personal lives would have to wait. Distance never mattered. But we ran out of time. It is what it is. Now that he's gone, do you ever wish? That's too personal. Insert foot in mouth. Well, that's not even an insert foot in mouth. That's just... That's a rough thing to say. I don't know what that symbol means, unfortunately. Let's check out high time here. Oh, 
Do Howdy. you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with nug shit and body odor. <laughs> And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? <laughs> Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. So you think the Templars, what, killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. I don't know what happened. He just stopped writing me. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Fair enough. Got a number of quests here to uh, attend to. I feel like we haven't even entered the game yet, but... You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. Okay. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. That's a fancy way to put it. I am a magistrate in this city, and as such, I wish to hire you for a small, albeit important job. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. A request that should have been made of the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Why is there such a clamor to catch this That's man? That's not what I wanted to do. What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Is there anything else I need to know? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. It'd be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden. Not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Possibly. It depends. The man's escaping for a good reason, and he's... Bethany. Ah, oh, okay. I thought you had a quest for me or something. No, I'll see what happens when I get to him. Uh, good day to you. If it, what he was arrested for doesn't make a lot of sense to me, I'll let myself be judge. Granted, if he, you know, raped children and murdered puppy dogs, then I'll, I'll probably bring him back in. Help wanted. My dear wife, Ninette, has gone missing. I shall the person who returns to save a question about the bounty. And Ninette, come speak with me in the High Town Market. That. Welcome, merchant. Not here to sell today. I Gardner. need to find my wife. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. And that's another issue. She's been captured, that's one thing. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. 
She needs to be dragged home. I don't think so. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You don't even care if your wife's alive or dead. I'm not helping you. So, you'd leave her to die just to spite me? <laughs> if you reconsider, talk to Zethan at the Blooming Rose. Yes, Nanette visited halls. They even send her flowers. <laughs> to our home! And you wonder why I hate her? Well, good luck to you then. Huh. Well. That may complicate things a little bit if she's in danger. Guardsman Abilene. We'll go so far as to help her, but I'm pretty sure returning her to that guy. I'm I'm playing my hawk with a bitter bit a bitter ugh, a better sense of judgment, so to speak, and especially for those trying to escape. What I think that makes a lot of sense for the there? character that he just barely managed to get out of there alive and those who are trying to escape any fate should be sided with that every man is free or woman so to speak interesting place let's not stay here for long madame lucine runs the place for harlan or with him or on him it's a coterie thing <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should put you to use farrick have you penned some warnings for the lawless who's that for the most criminals big readers Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. <laughs> Thank you. I get the <laughs> point. <laughs> I'm going to cut off here, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching. And do please tune in to the next episode. Come on. Of Dragon Age 2 with Togoth. Thanks for watching, folks.